testing, testing. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, August 12th, and we're back, baby. <laughs> we're back vlogging. Today's Thursday, which means that it is, it can only be one day. It's Mother Truck and Vlog Day. Appreciate you guys being here so much. Thank you for asking. I did have a really great summer vacation. Really great summer vacation. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a little bit of a download later on if you're interested in what I did for the last three weeks. Wasn't much. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. It wasn't much. But I have an action-packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. All of those timestamps are going to be the first pinned comment right underneath this video for everybody on that hashtag replay crew. Appreciate you guys. I see you there. I see all you guys in chat. I'm overjoyed. My heart is full of joy right now. Rob, Marcy, Cherokee, Lurker, the Nate Light, Night, Late Night Vape Show. I see you guys there. Chasing Clouds and Flavor Reviews. I see you there. Jason, <laughs> good old Jason. I see you guys there. Really appreciate you being here. I'm going to do just a real quick rundown. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to do a real quick rundown for you guys as far as uh, what's coming up tonight. Mail. Hi, welcome to the big, possibly one of the biggest mail vlogs that has ever happened. The, 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 the pile of mail is overflowing. My cup runneth over with mail. So we're going to dig into a whole mess of mail. We're going to talk about what I've been vaping. Of course, we have a beer. Of course, we have a really great retro vaping. Of course, we're going to have a very random liquid tasting. Of course, we're going to have getting to know Grim Green. Of course, I'm going to sprinkle in pepper in some news and advocacy because there's been some uh there's been some stuff going on new wave dave knows yak bong appreciate you new wave dave we've got birthdays to celebrate today Whew. all right let's get back into this let's get back into this hot vlogging action so the first thing that i would like to do in this here vlog video is just do that thing that's my new favorite thing where i get to hear from one of my subscribers so right now you guys know who this is? It's Mue. What up, Mue? What's up, man, Nick? My name is Joe, also known as Mue, uh, as you so lovingly pronounce it in the chat. Um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you um, for everything you're doing for the community. You are an absolute star. As we say in my my home country of Wales, Dianbach. Dio basically means well done mate well done um yeah keep on keeping on you're an absolute star and stay cloudy oh mue 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 i'm so glad you sent that video in i love it when people send videos in if you have a video like muez that you would like to see featured on this here stream, you can send them on over to me. It's nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, that one thing. Chances are I'll see the attachment. We'll get it filed. We'll use it in this stream. And for so long, you know, it's just like I see Mue's name and little picture popping up in my chat. I'm like, what up, Mue? What up, Mue? I don't know who you are, but you're here and I love you, Mue. And then I get a video, like it all comes together. I feel like we're buds now. It just... It just brings it just brings a smile to my face, you see. It just brings a smile to my face. So if you have a video, like I said, send it on over. Nick at grimgreen.com. Am I too quiet? Am I too quiet? Am I too quiet? Thanks, Rhett's beard, for keeping it real and telling me I'm too quiet. Appreciate you, Rhett. Rhett is that better? That's better. That's gonna be a lot better. Look, I'll take just one quick dangle clack right out of the gate. I'll take that. I accept that dangle clack. I'll own that dangle clack. We'll turn the volume up. And we'll just never, we'll just forget that that dangle clack even happened. Let's just pretend that this has been a flawless stream so far. You guys on board? All right. <laughs> if you're on board, I'm on board. What I'm on board to do right now, actually, Janine, nice to see you here. Would you guys like to have a beer? Let's have a beer together. <laughs> Oh, 
that bumper still too loud? I, I did not uh, change the uh, volume of any of my bumpers while I was gone. It was just a lazy sack of crap. This is the beer we're drinking tonight, you guys. New Belgium 1985 IPA. This is a banger, banger, banger of a beer. Banger of a beer. I'm already a little bit sentimentally attached to this beer because while I was gone for this last like two and a half weeks on my summer break, wife and I, we threw a little party. We had a bunch of people over. We had a big cooler full of beer. So my, my wife and I, we went to Costco for really the first time in our adult lives together. Uh, and it was glorious, A. And two, we got a bunch of beer samplers. Like I picked the new Belgium beer sampler and all of these 1985s in it were, were, were claimed already. I, I picked this one out and like kept it away from the pack so that I could keep it in the fridge because I knew that I was going to want to do this in a vlog. But I'm sentimentally attached to this beer already because it reminds me of my great summer break I was just on. And it reminds me of my great summer break I was just on. This was like the beer of the break. And it's, I get sentimental. You know me. I'm a big, soft, sentimental guy. And I just get crazy sentimental. Crazy sentimental. Going to be pouring this into my uh, Delirium Tremens glass there. I think this came from uh, Disco Potato. I, don't, I haven't talked to you in a while, Disco Potato. Hope you're doing good. Yes. Look at how beautifully, deliciously summery this is looking. It's just that hazy, beautiful, sweet 1985 IPA. This is one of the sweeter IPAs that I have tried, like, in recent memory. There was... I have another beer on standby if one beer isn't enough for us tonight, which, hey... First vlog back, maybe we maybe we do need more than one beer. Who am I to say? <laughs> Who am I to say? In fact, I'm gonna I'm just gonna guess that we might need more than one beer. But I also have a uh, another IPA from New Belgium from this same like sampler pack. But this 1985 was really like the shining star of this of this whole sampler pack. So I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a swig here, you guys. Cheers. There's to you. Appreciate you being here. Hope you have something uh, delicious. Doesn't have to be alcohol next to you. Just hope you're enjoying it. This beer is incredible. This is one of my favorite IPAs. It's not sour. It's crispy. It's sweet. It's really, really. It's got that like not piney, but like that hoppy malty sweetness in it the aftertaste from this 1985 holy crap it's so good and i've actually done zero research new belgium 1985 go let's see what the internet has to say about this beer because i've already made up my mind i like it 89 percent. i'll take that uh, like totally loaded with juicy mango flavor, 1985 takes you back to the future of hazy IPAs. Buckle up. Citra and Cascade hops. Malt. Pale malt oats and wheat. Listen, I'm not the uh, deep dive beer guy. I leave that for Poon Sauce McNasty. So here's what I'll tell you. It's, it's, this is a delicious brew. It's crispy, upfront sweetness. It's got that classic like hazy IPA sort of hang to it god it's delicious this is just a good beer this is this was one of my highlights what up jp vapes i see you there bud this is just one of the highlights of my whole summer break was getting to drink delicious beers and ipas in this particular 1985 it's just delicious the flavor of this instantly i feel like oh i'm playing darts with beecher in the backyard again you have a nice cold water brady perfect because that will actually be beneficial and keep you hydrated throughout the rest of the night. Stay hydrated. Always be hydrated, hydro homies. So now, oh, I feel so, I, I, it feels good. I feel like I picture things mentally in my head sometimes. And like when the house is dirty, I'll, it'll feel different in my head. You know, you I picture like black clumpy things when things feel dirty. or And this whole vacation, I felt like I was in a tent, like in a beach umbrella that's on the ground and I'm just curled up underneath it, ignoring the whole world. And now there's like a layer of dust on top of it. And now I've just awoken and I like throw the umbrella off and I'm like looking at the sun going, <sighs> I forgot about the world a little bit. I feel, uh, I feel energized, you know? I feel a little rejuvenated, the Voorhees files. Just feels good to be back. Feels good to be back on the stream. Um, 
anyway, I'm not, I'm not trying to be so casual about it. I did have a really great summer break, if you wanted to mention it. Like I said, I didn't really do much, um, which was the goal. I have a, a, I have a thing where I can't stop working. Even on my days off, I caught myself in here editing videos and going on Twitter and like replying to emails, and I had to stop myself. I thought of my, I thought of my Patreon, uh, Pam, the reluctant Pam Cakes, who said, just stop. Just take a day. Don't do anything. Like, do nothing. So I did a lot of days of nothing, you know? I did a bunch of days of nothing. I watched a bunch of Marvel movies. I wanted to watch the Avengers and stuff again, so I watched those. I watched the Thor movies because I really like Thor. Um, consumed a lot of cannabis. Watched a lot of movies. Slept in most every day. It was good. It was like, I mean, you remember like seventh grade? You know, because that was like the last fun summer vacation I think I ever had was like seventh, eighth grade. Felt like that. Felt like an eighth grade summer, like a summer vacation. Lots of beer, lots of TV. Damn, it feels good to be back. Stop working, Nick. Here's what we're going to do. I saw some come in. Okay, okay, we are going to be running late already, uh, but we got some super chats, you guys, and I really appreciate it. First of all, out of 333 votes, 78% of you did have a good summer. So th I pre that's cool, man. How was your summer break? Was it good? Do you have a barbecue? Do you watch the fireworks? <laughs> Dave Lloyd, uh, Dave Lloyd, that's very gracious of you. My 21-pound bangle cat said to me, okay, you have a talking 21 pound bangle cat. I'm going to need pictures of, of evidence that this really exists. Anyway, his, his speaking cat said to him and said, yo, Dave, go seek some wisdom from Legion vapes. That's a good, that's a good way to go. So I did Legion vapes told me go forth and give grim green money. <laughs> so here's $20 <laughs> Dave Lloyd. Uh, thank you, bro. Thank, <laughs> thank you for uh, bringing a smile to my face. <laughs> No obligation. There's never an obligation with Super Chats, I, but I really very much appreciate it. Zach said, uh, some guy, some guy, was it a giant 28, 21-pound talking Bengal cat? Because if, if, it, if it was, Dave might be missing his cat. Zach says, some guy said, give Nick five bucks or I'll throw spiders on your tits. I thought that was kind of weird, but here you go, dude. Yeah, Zach, a.k.a. Pizza Beard, on the on my Patreon Instagram live stream. I don't know if this was Wednesday or Monday. We are talking about, was it on the live stream? We are talking about trolls, and one of my very first trolls used to say really weird stuff at me. And one of the things that my one of my very first trolls used to shout at me was that he was going to throw spiders on my tit sacks. I'm going to throw spiders at your tit sacks. It's just really weird. Appreciate the, appreciate the fiber there, <laughs> Zach. Cool, cool tech dreamer. Yo, yo, bro. How's it going? Just got in the grim army. Legion vapes. <claps> Fuck yeah, Legion vapes. Me and Legion vapes, we're like this. We never talk. I don't even have his phone number, but we're, we're like bros. We're like best bros. I, I feel like he's my bro. Love Legion. Mue, I'm here. I'm in pain, but I'm here. Oh, don't be in pain, Mue. Don't be in pain. You're a legend, bro. I love you. Thank you for the video. Mue. I like putting a name to the face, to the face, to the name. Mue. Sorry, I'm trying to drink this beer. Just It's so delicious. I keep thinking about it. When I'm sitting here not drinking drinking it, I'm actively thinking about drinking it. Uh, Lee. Oh, Lee. Crap. I guess I owe you 10 bucks for having a dangle clack free intro. <laughs> That's what you get, Lee. That's what you get when you, when you bet against your boy here. <laughs> Dangle clack free intro. Rhett falls. Uh, if I can't hear that beautiful voice, I get upset. Well, Rhett fall. I'll turn it up for you every time. Rhett falls. You just tell me. You just tell me. I'll just keep. <laughs> I'll just keep cranking it up for you, buddy. Barbara, that's very gracious. Shout out to my stepmom, Linda, for her birthday tomorrow. Oh, it's birth. Linda's birthday tomorrow. Should we sing happy birthday literally right now? I feel like we should sing happy birthday literally right now. All right, let's get a timestamp for the happy birthday, Jeremy V. Let's sing happy birthday. There's a lot of birthdays. Let's see. We have stepmom Linda. Um, we have uh, Aaron Green. It's it, it was his birthday or is his B Ski. 
Beesky, I know it was your birthday. We got, I think it might be Scott's actual birthday today. Um, happy birthday to Belfrost. Happy birthday to Devin Van Buren. Where you at, Devin? Show yourself. Uh, it's it's Rock Paper Sniper's birthday. It was Rock Paper Sniper's birthday. Baker, ma'am. Yo, yo, Baker, ma'am. Happy birthday. Uh, and Ruff McGruff's birthday. And Jay Clown E Vapes' birthday. We're singing happy birthday. That's too many birthdays to not sing happy birthday. So let me get my little, uh, you know, what do the conductors call this? Baton. Trusting you guys to sing with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Linda Ruff McGruff, Baker Man, Rock Paper Sniper, Devin Van Buren, Scott R. Belfrost, Beesky, J. Clowny Vapes, and Aaron Green. Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> skip around the room. Skip around the room. Look, you know the rules. Skip around the room. Go. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, one and all. Frank Neal. Very gracious of you. Hey, Grim, been bored the last couple of Thursdays and I really missed you. Couldn't wait until today's vlog. Frank Neal. I've been a little bit bored, too. I've been a little bit antsy to get back and uh, get in here and get streaming. Happy to see you here, Frank. Happy to relieve you of that burden of boredom every Thursday. I'll take it from you. Eifer, yo, yo, Nick, what's going on? Hope you enjoyed your vlogcation. Vlogcation. That's clever. I did, Eifer. I very much did. Appreciate you, bro. Suburban Dirt Farmer. Where you been, man? Yo, yo, I've been looking forward to vlog day. Glad you had a good break. You deserve it. Fuck yeah, suburban dirt farmer. Hope you're doing good, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, New Wave Dave says, okay, who's going to NVE in Houston? Yak bong. Here's the thing, you guys. I'm going to go to NVE in Houston. I'm going to go to NVE in Houston. Ugh, just going to go. I have nothing to sell. I don't. I'm, I, maybe I'll, I might make some merch, but I think... I think we're going to do a big meetup in NVE Houston. I think that sounds fun as hell. Because why not? Because NVE Houston. Derek R. Missed you while you were gone. I couldn't send you super chats. No, no. You couldn't. But, but, go Titans. Go Titans. Go Titans. <laughs> Two nap fish. My first super chat ever. How was it? How did it feel? Was it everything you wanted? Here, let me give you a fist bump, buddy. Two nap and fish. Two nap, two nap, two nafish, tuna fish, tuna fish, tuna fish, tuna fish, big tuna. <laughs> Appreciate you, big tuna. Justin, how are you doing, bro? Missed you too, man. Woohoo! Missed you too, bro. Hope you're doing good. We'll hang out later. Don't even trip, dog. Connie, that's very gracious of you. I think you and Lesion should do a live stream together. I think so too. Like no arguments on this side. I like Legion. Uh, we're bros, and I, I'll do, I would like to do. I'd do a fun live stream with him. I mean, it, it might not be like a regular regular thing, but it could be a really fun live stream. I'll never say no. Legion can just say jump. I'll say how high. He says I'll say give me a date, and I'll come on your live stream. Connie, I will never say no to Legion Vapes. He's just a wonderful human. So you guys, real quick. Um, that's it for the super chats right now. Let me tell you about what I've been vaping while I've been gone. Cause it's been weird. It's been weird. Scott, I'm going to end up in Houston. Chances are good that I will end up in Houston. Tighten up. Let me tell you guys what I've been vaping. Uh, as far as pods go, look, there's been a few. Would you believe that the havoc from you well is still in daily rotation? Still in daily rotation. I just put a new mouth to lung coil head in here. 12 milligram water Malone. Th that is a great, that's a great vape. Uh, v through. You're not right now. You're not going to find a better pod right now. I think than the V through. And that's, I'm including the Caliburn a two in that. I still think the V through is a little bit better, but we'll get there when we get there. Aegis nano. 
Because A, how, look how cool this is, yellow with the stripies, and I just really liked it. I went and got a bunch of more Aegis Nano coil heads because I remember doing my Aegis Nano video and I was like, Aegis Nano love, and I loved this thing. And then on my last pods ranked video, it kind of just fell off my table and I thought, no, 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 that that's a good pod. I just need more coil heads, so it's back. It's back in, back in action, baby. Same 12 milligram water Malone. I like these. And despite their flaws, I, I have still had the World T1s in heavy rotation because I really like the coil heads so much that I'm kind of, I've just been putting up with putting my thumb over the top. Because the coil head is so nice and deliciously flavorful. So good. But those are the pods. As far as a few other things that I've been using a lot that have surprised me, yeah, I didn't think I'd be using this as much as I am, but it's the Aglios H2. It's just an internal battery, nothing special, magnetic, you know, sort of a poor man's PNP system. It's just those UL coil heads. They happen to vape awesome if you open up the airflow. Good. It's just good. There's no way around it. Snowcap mods. I've, I've just suddenly, I'm blaming Breeze Tones for this. I don't know if you guys know Adam Breeze Tones. Extraordinary coil builder. Uh, terrible influence. Uh, snowcap mods. I've become a little bit of a snowcap fanboy. This is the Denali with the Asgard Mini on there. Got some uh, Vigilante Skull and Crossbones. That's been amazing. Boosh 9000. It's the Geek Vape Ages Legend 2. I knew this was just going to stay on my desk, and it just has because it's just awesome. In fact, that kind of goes a little bit along with this because I've been using that Vupu Drag X Plus Pro. Vupu Drag X Plus Pro. 82 watts, plenty of power on the Serpent RDA with the big giant drip tip. Now, I'm blaming Watofo for this. I'm blaming Watofo for this. That big single coil. Not only am I blaming Watofo for this, but I kind of feel like I owe Watofo a little bit of an apology because I was kind of like, I was kind of not shitting on it, but I was kind of shitting on the idea of one big single coil. I don't know if that was just me being dumb or elitist or something, but I, I don't know. I wasn't into this idea of like one big single coil. On video, I was kind of like, eh. One big single coil, why would anyone want to vape that? Well, it turns out that I was way wrong because it's awesome. I just kept vaping the serpent, kept vaping the serpent, kept vaping the serpent. Loved the big single coil so much. Loved the big single coil so much that I got out my reload vapor RDA because it has essentially the same deck as the serpent. And I put one other big five millimeter single coil in this as well with Boule Bolu. Apparently, I just like really big single coils now. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about them. It's easy to drip on them. Uh, they're, they're, they're crackly. They're flavorful. I don't know what it is. But I've just been on a big, a big single coil kick. So I'm kind of apologizing to and blaming Watofo completely for me being into the big ass single coils. God, it's so good. It's so good. Let's see, there's two more things here. Uh, as I said, it's a Snowcap Avalanche V2. Got some uh, Rocheford project in there. That's the Gambit on top. And again, it's not that I the Gambit's like an amazing RDA, it's just, it's good and it fits on here. You hear the crackle? Tell me you can hear the crackle, Urn. Tell me you can hear the crackle. Tell me you can hear the crackle, Urn. Uh, lastly, this is a just a Digiflavor uh, coil head base tank. I don't quite remember the name of it, um, but it's sitting on top of a new BP DNA 60 mod that's honestly pretty rad. I've really liked holding this, using this. It's really crazy ergonomic with like where the button is. I can't pronounce the name of this, but it's this. The uh, <laughs> I 
Aido mod. Aido mod. The Aido mod. Super limited edition. Aido mod. Aido mod. I don't know if that's it. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I've been using that a lot. And lastly, uh, it's the Mike Vapes. Shout out to TT Vape for the red clutch with the, uh, you know, it's that GM RDA on there, the Scion. I don't think I like this RDA. And that bums me out to say that. But I just, I think I just don't like this RDA. Every time I grab it, I vape it. I see it and I go, oh yeah. And then I vape it and I go, oh yeah. I don't like that very much. And I set it down and I'll forget about it and I'll see it and I'll go, oh yeah. And I'll vape it and then I go, oh yeah. I didn't really like that very much. The air, the, the coils get in the way of the airflow. The airflow itself, the AFC is thick. It's thick metal. So it really impedes on your build deck. There's either two things going on here. It's either, this is, he wanted you to have a very specific type of vape. He's like, nope, two, two and a half millimeter coils. That's all you can install in here because it is all you can install in here. In fact, I think a two millimeter might be a little bit better. I don't, I'm, I'm just not a big fan right now. I'm not loving the airflow. It feels real rough, real slurpy. I feel like the, I feel like the airflow is pointed at my cotton instead of my coil. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think I'm gonna do a review for that soon, but it's not, uh, it's not really knocking my socks off right now. You on the other hand, you on the other hand, good shit. So that's, uh, yeah, that's really more or less what I've been vaping. If I had to narrow it down to like a thing, it's going to be the Avalanche V2 has probably been in my hand the most, followed by this little number right here. That Serpent Vupu combo, I'm just really enjoying it, even with the super giant, super dorky drip tip. Look at that dorky drip tip. That's dork level 9,000. That's a dork 1985. But I just like it. Don't care, just like it. I guess, wait, lastly, can I praise the Caliburn A2 for a second? There's some reviews out there for this. Believe the hype because it's really, really good. I am going to spend uh, a longer period with my Caliburn A2 before I do a review because I just want to see how long these coil heads are going to last. That's what bummed me out about the Caliburn uh, G was the pretty cruddy coil head life. This is vaping better than the Caliburn G on the same level as like the Vupu V through. Delightful. It's it's delightfully crispy, delicious. PB party, 12 milligrams in here. <laughs> I'm going to do that again just because it's so freaking enjoyable. Caliburn A2, man. I really hope that one lives up to the hype. Like right now, it's real good. <sighs> I hope it stays good. <laughs> I, hope it stay, I hope it stays good. Um, I had a few like, hang on. There was a couple uh, shout out type of things. Let's do some favorite comments of the week real quick. Are we running long already? Definitely sounds like it. Let's do, here's a few favorite comments of the week. And these aren't so much comments, I guess, as it is just shout outs. And the first person I'm shouting out is SVK, SVK Vapes. Yeah, it's his dad. This was from uh, yesterday's live stream on Instagram. SVK said, here's the thing. I will not be watching the Epic Vlog Thursday because of my dad's funeral, but I will watch the replay later. If possible, can you give a shout out to my dad, Richard? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely, SVK Vapes. SVK. Shout out to SVK. Shout out to Richard. Rest in peace. I love you, bro. I also want to give a shout out to another patron, Earn's here. I'm not going to show it on the screen, but Earn, my boy Earn, he might get a job at a vape shop. I'm pulling for him. If you need a letter of recommendation, like if you're going to go work at a vape shop, I'll write you a letter of recommendation. <laughs> I'll do my best to get you that to get you that job at a vape shop, Earn. I'll try my best. Um, okay, so 
this is the less exciting part. There, there's two GoFundMes that I'm going to put down in the description. Um, just because I can't not put GoFundMes in, in the description, especially when it's people that are part of this community, that are part of my community, that are, you know, ha have supported me over the years. Um, Chasing Clouds and Flavor Reviews, uh, Josh hit me up and said his father passed away a few days ago, Saturday the 17th. Uh, he put up a GoFundMe campaign so that they could get their vehicle fixed so he could visit him as much as possible before he passed. He wasn't able to fix this car in time. Long story short, I'm not going to read the whole email. They, they, they've spent their money on on helping his dad with, with lymphoma, with cancer. His dad passed away, and now they don't have money to fix this car that they desperately need. So I'm going to put a link down in the description chasing clouds and flavor reviews. We got your back as much as we possibly can. Literally any, any little thing helps. He's not asking for much. I think their goal is like a grand just to get this Honda car fixed. I wish you the best. I'll be donating definitely after this for you, chasing clouds and flavor reviews. Hope you're doing good, bro. I'm so sorry for your loss. There's another GoFundMe. Uh, I know I had mentioned this person multiple times in the past. Uh, Ulfendar. Ulfendar Vapor. Back in the day, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna praise Ulfendar Vapor here for a little bit because back in the day during Evali and during all of that stuff, he was one of the most vocal advocates on Twitter just ever. He was in there and replying and tweeting and liking, and he was just going full on, full on advocacy mode and you know, we had a few exchanges back and forth and I thought, man, I really like this guy. I really like Elfender Vapor. Well, because, because we live in the U S he has medical expenses that are beyond his means. This poor man was in a motorcycle collision, motorcycle collision, has no income, can't afford his medical bills, has no mode of transportation. He's basically just sitting in pain. He's trying to reach $3,000 so that he can make an appointment to get to a surgeon so they can fix his body. I hate, hate that if you get in a car accident, then you will go fucking bankrupt saving your own life. That upsets me to no end. Medical expenses just, even just, Medical expenses to no end upset me. And so uh, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to, to Mr. Ulfender Vapors here. Again, literally anything helps. Literally anything helps. He's at this point, he's just trying to stay alive, you know, at this point. And uh, any, any, like I said, any little thing helps. Any little thing helps. Medical expenses in the United States. It, I could get in a car accident tomorrow and it would ruin me financially ruin me, ruin my life, ruin my health. It's unbelievable. Greatest country on earth. Die. Um, <clears throat> let me give you, here's something a little bit more heartwarming. Um, I've been talking to my dad a lot and, uh, we were talking, uh, this was like two weeks ago for whatever reason, my dad was telling me, uh, about, this, that, and we were just, whatever, we we're just having a conversation. He mentioned in passing, like, oh, I, I don't have my cameras anymore. What do you mean you don't have a camera? He's like, I said, I had to sell my camera. He wouldn't tell me why. He was fine, secretive. Medical expenses. Fucking medical expenses. My dad, the photographer with no camera. And I thought, this, this will not stand. So I sent my dad a camera. <laughs> I sent my dad a camera because a photographer without a camera, it's not right. That's not right. So I sent my dad a camera. And so I got this picture of him. Um, taking pictures of the Venus flytraps that he has. And that's cool. And, and now he's just stoked with a camera, taking pictures of Venus flytraps on his back patio. And that just, you know, it was just a little thing. Just a little dad update. He's still up there in Northern California, doing the best that we possibly can. And now he has a camera. In fact, he sent me pictures. Hang on. Hang on. Uno momento. No, okay, maybe I don't. I thought he sent me the pictures. Yeah, he sent me the picture of the flytrap. Look at this. Uh, it's going to be a, a bad picture of it, I think. Here it is. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, it's really small and, you know, it's through text message. That's a picture of a Venus flytrap he took. So that's cool. That's like a little bit of like, hey, cool. 
a little bit of a little bit of hey cool news, right? Not too shabby. Let's get data camera. Let's get Elfender a surgeon. Let's get let's get chasing clouds a car. You know, let's help try to help each other out i guess the best way that we can so uh there you go favorite comments of the week um that's it if you leave a comment uh, maybe i'll see it if you see, leave an email oh, maybe i'll see it maybe comments of the week is just all encompassing maybe comment really is literally anything L literally anything okay all right were there a few more super chats that came in before we get into any news and advocacy i'll go check Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Uh, let's see, I don't remember where I left off. Connie, that's right. Dimlet Night. Dimlet, checking in from Cleveland. Hope you had a good break. We'll see if we can jump in the hangs later. I hope you guys jump in the hangs later. For sure, Dimlet Night. Hope you're doing good, bro. Aaron Green, so glad we're back. Greetings from Spain, where all the locals are saying, give Nick some money if you've missed him. Aaron Green, Thank you. That's very gracious of you. In fact, shout out to Aaron Green. Shout out to Spain, because as we're going to talk about a little bit in the news, Spain is suing the government, and I love it. Sortil, glad you're back, brother. Now my Mondays and Thursdays can get back to normal. Me too, you know? Me too. My Mondays and Thursdays can get back to normal. I'll tell you, like on a Thursday, like the first Thursday of my break, when I got up and I didn't have to come in here and get retro vapes and like set up the vlog and do the thing. And I, I, I it felt weird, but we felt unnormal, felt unnormal. Glad we're back to being normal. Eifer from Richard Martin. Ido. I, 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 Ido. Oh, Ido. 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 Iido, really liking this Iido, and you can knock this down from an 18650 to an 18350. Make it a little uh, acrylic side by side guy. It's cool. It's cool. <coughs> no, it's cool. We're going to the moon. Mandris, nay, New York, Niandris, Niandris. Okay. I don't know how to connect with him, but I am a social worker, and I can research how to get him into the doctor, apply for benefits, etc. That would be amazing. Uh, email me. He's on Instagram. Uh, uh, email me and I'll connect you guys. He's on Instagram for sure. If you're talking about offender, for sure. That's awesome of you. Matt Sinister, welcome back, Nick. Shout out to Dwayne. Three bottles of Rocket Blast arrived today. That should last me about a month. Now it's time for push-ups. All right, hang on, Matt Sinister, making me do push-ups. Hope you feel good about yourself. Hope you <laughs> Brady May, that's very gracious of you. Finally caught my first live stream and watching since 2014. Thanks for all the entertainment. Brady, my pleasure. Holy crap, 2014. I haven't even been watching since 2014. All right, I am going to go do some push-ups. Everybody's welcome to do uh, 10 push-ups with me. That's enough planking. Whew. Feels good. Let's do some more push-ups. What's that, Matt Sinister? Ten more push-ups. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, Matt Sinister. Love you, bro. Appreciate that, Matt Sinister. Appreciate that, Brady. All right, yeah, guys. Let's jump into some. Uh, let's jump into some news. There's been some news and some things going on. Should be real interesting. Going to try to keep this a little bit tight because we got, uh, well, we got a lot to go. News and advocacy, yeah. Yeah. So there's, look, there's just been a lot going on. There's been a lot going on. We're going to start off 
with some unthreatening stuff. Testimonials. Yeah. F yeah, testimonials. Uh, testimonials always, testimonials everywhere. Everywhere that you can do a testimonial, do a testimonial. Tell your story. It's compelling. It's interesting. It's a success story. It's, I smoked for 15 years and uh, I, I, I bought an e-cig in 2009 and haven't looked back. Been smoke-free 10 years. That's an incredible story. Everybody has an incredible story. And so not only am I going to direct you to, I'm so winded for doing those push-ups. I think I need some beer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Much better. Much better. So I'm not only going to direct you to CASA, the Consumer Advocates for Smoke-Free Alternatives. I'm going to send you to writetovape.org. Now, this is sort of a uh, team-up. You know, this is a this is a, a joint venture between CASA and CAFRA. And CAFRA, C-A-P-H-R-A, is the Coalition of Asia-Pacific Tobacco Harm Reduction Advocates. So testimonials tell your stories you guys it's really compelling it, they are really very compelling new wave dave is back okay i was almost going to end the vlog dave i'm not even joking they're really comparing compelling and you know i don't mean to keep bringing up the one example that i have of a politician changing her mind because of testimonials but rhode island representative julie casimiro changed her mind and is now a pro vaping politician and is trying to go back and correct the bad legislation, the bad vape legislation in her state. Testimonials, testimonials, testimonials. Please, please, please do your testimonials. So, oh, Smack and Nude Zach is still here. SmackandNudeZach.nl. That's the thing. Go there. There's a flavor ban coming to the Netherlands. Flavor ban coming to the Netherlands. SmackandNudeZach.nl. Should I just leave this up here? Here, let's put Smack Nude Zach up here. This grim vlog is now sponsored by SmackNudeZach.nl. Netherlands flavor ban. Go, go to SmackNudeZach.nl. Go there. In fact, I have a lot of homework for you guys tonight. <laughs> Anthony Ramallah. Right to switch. There's a petition. The, I, you know me. You guys know me. And I do not get behind pol politicians. That too. I don't get behind politicians and I don't get behind petitions really ever because I have found that in my experience, po petitions don't uh, accomplish much in the sense that you can't change a law in your state uh, probably with a petition. You know, you're not going to be able to have an effective pathway for initiating change with a petition, but this is a petition that we're all getting behind that that literally everybody, everybody's getting behind. It's right to switch. And I'll post a link down in the description. And this is basically, look, we're asking the World Health Organization to just stop lying. And I don't th feel like that's like a, <laughs> I don't feel like that's a ridiculous thing to ask the World Health Organization to stop lying. The World Health Organization's Framework Convention on Tobacco Control, the FCTC, is having their by, by, biennial meeting this November to propose new guidelines on combating smoking. In their pre-conference guidance to member countries, the World Health Organization continues to insist that safer nicotine products such as vapes or e-cigarettes are as harmful and dangerous as combustible tobacco and should be banned or heavily restricted. The position is based on deliberate falsehoods, not facts. They refuse to acknowledge the vast body of independent peer-reviewed scientific evidence that clearly shows that vaping is at least 95% less harmful than smoking. We're just asking the World Health Organization to, to, to please stop lying. Harm reduction is part of their mission. It's, it's in the, the World Health Organization sort of like charter constitution. Harm reduction, just not tobacco harm reduction. So we got 8,000 signatures on this. We're trying to get it to 10. We're trying to get it to 20. We're trying to get it to 50, 100, 200. I mean, every vapor literally on earth can sign this petition. 
in any country, if you're a vapor in Antarctica right now and you're watching somehow, which is weird, you can sign this. You could sign this. You could chisel out your laptop from a block of ice, you know, have your penguin friends help you. Obviously, I don't know what it's like to be in Antarctica, but you can sign this. You can sign this right to switch. So I'm going to throw that down there. One more petition for my Canadians. For my Canadians? Oh, what? One more petition for my Canadians. There's a deadline on this. 22 days, 16 hours remain. My submission. Um, so this is, a, this is a petition for the flavor ban that's inevitably uh, has already been announced. I believe Gazette 3 announced the Canadian flavor ban. I don't know. I've been a little bit out of the loop. <laughs> I've been a little bit out of the loop, but I'm pretty sure they ordered a flavor ban. Um, you can submit and you, you just set a custom response. You can send your message again, like your testimonial directly to health Canada, directly, directly to health Canada. Vaping saves lives, period. Look, I wish I could argue with you, Sky Cult. I wish I could argue with you. I cannot. I cannot. What else is going on out there in the world of news? I suppose we have to talk about Australia. Australia. Australia's getting, Australia's getting it bad. Um, October 1st, 2021. New regulations are coming to Australia. You have to have a prescription. Even if you're already a vapor, you have to go to a doctor now. How weird is that? That you're a smoker and and then you quit smoking. And then if you want to continue quit smoking, then they're like, no, you have to go to a doctor. What? Okay. So it's a prescription only scheme that's going on there. They're encouraging every vapor in this country of Australia, especially in South Australia, to get your prescriptions for nicotine as soon as possible because there's only 10 doctors in the whole of South Australia willing to write nicotine prescriptions. And it's not just that you get a nicotine prescription and then you can just order whatever you want or like go into a vape shop and just buy whatever you want. <laughs> no, no, no. You have to plan. You have to think ahead. You have to figure out how much nicotine you're going to use in a year and then get a prescription for that amount of nicotine. I don't have all of the details, but you know who does have all of the details? It's them. It's Colin Mendelson and Pippa. They did a little bit live stream. It's about 40 minutes long. It's really informative. This is, yeah, as you can see, special presentation. What will Australian nicotine laws change in October mean to vapors? You're gonna need a prescription. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's almost like the Australian government just doesn't want anybody to quit smoking. Could you imagine having to jump through that many hoops to get a prescription for nicotine? I just posted a poorly crafted tweet on Twitter that was something along the lines of, Australian citizen says, I want to quit smoking. The Australian government says, right on. Way to go. Australian citizen says, okay, I've heard so much about these vapes. How do I get a vape? The Australian government just goes, well, you're not going to like it. It's a pain in the ass. You want to quit smoking? Bummer. Bummer. We're not going to make these easy to get. <laughs> so you can either just go down to your local shop, pick up some more cigarettes. Yeah, so much easier. Or you could jump through all of these hoops, make an appointment with your GP, you know, calculate your nicotine that you're going to use throughout the whole year. Why would you want to do that when cigarettes are right there? And then you can get a prescription and then you can buy pharmaceutical nicotine if you really don't want to smoke. I don't know why you wouldn't because cigarettes are right there again. It's insane. It's insanity what's going on there. Nobody needs nicotine. Bullshit. <laughs> Nobody needs nicotine. Uh, I, okay, so that's what's going on in Australia. I'm gonna, I don't have all of the facts right now in Australia, but like I said, I'm relying on people that do. Colin Mendelson, Pippa Star. They did a little live stream. I'll have it linked down in the description. If you're an Australian, definitely, definitely, dolphinately go check this out. Dolphinately go check that out. Now, what else? So this is going to look like I'm defending Jewel, but I'm not, not, not defending Jewel. I am defending Jewel, but I'm not defending Jewel. It's more I'm just ragging on Elizabeth Warren because I don't generally dislike 
Elizabeth Warren. I don't I don't like her. I don't think, wow, that's a good politician. I'm glad she's in office. But I don't like hate her. I don't I don't have like a vendetta against Elizabeth Warren. But what is it with politicians and not being able to grasp like the most very simple, basic things like in life? It's like trying to get the attention of a puppy. It's ridiculous. So Elizabeth Warren spouts off on Twitter <laughs> all all wrong, but she said big tobacco has been misleading the public about its products for decades. Now, Juul Vapor is using the same old tricks. It purchased a whole issue of a medical medical journal to rig the science. I warned US FDA not to be fooled by these thinly veiled PR tactics. So today I learned that Elizabeth Warren doesn't know how medical journals work. She doesn't know how peer review works. She doesn't know how much works. Michelle Mitten, thankfully, one of my one of my personal heroes, Michelle Mitten, thankfully corrected Elizabeth Warren on Twitter by saying, when a sitting U.S. senator doesn't understand how peer review journals work, good Lord, why is this so hard for people to understand that Jewel didn't buy anything. They paid the exact same fees that any author would pay to that journal for reviewing, editing, and publishing articles. When you publish an article in a medical journal, it costs money. FDA has required that all vape companies do this science and publish this science, they're literally just following FDA rules and they're following the same rules that everybody else is following. If you want to get something published in a medical journal, you have to pay. So in order to get their science published in a medical journal, Juul had to, that's right, pay. Just like everybody, like literally everybody else who's ever had anything published ever, you have to pay. But why, what is with Elizabeth Warren and this narrative of like, oh, like this is just completely fabricated, completely fabricated. Elizabeth Warren has no grasp of how science or medical journals work at all. But did that stop her from going on Twitter and just, hmm, no. It didn't. And that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. I told Danielle Jones, I'm normalizing calling people stupid again. Elizabeth Warren, that was stupid as hell. You look stupid. You look stupid and uneducated. Thanks, Elizabeth Warren. So no, Jewel, despite what you've heard, and again, I hate defending Jewel. I hate it. Despite what you've heard, no. <laughs> they didn't buy any science. They didn't uh, distort the truth. They're not taking a page out of Big Tobacco's playbook and, and twisting science and buying science journals off. And they're, they're literally just playing by the exact same rules that literally everyone else is. But it's Jewel, so you got to have a scapegoat, you know. You got to have some, you got to have a dragon to slay. <laughs> gotta have a dragon to slay it's ridiculous uh it's ridiculous so no jewel did nothing wrong jewel did nothing wrong now okay here i'm gonna promote my own thing i did a pretty cool video that i think turned out pretty cool and it's all of it it's a video about this guy joe buscaino who's running for mayor of la and the last time that i could find him talking about vaping him talking about vaping it was in a very positive light so I would encourage, it's five minutes. I would really encourage you to go check it out, especially if you're a California resident or if you're an LA resident like me and you're concerned about who our next, uh, <laughs> concerned about who our next mayor is going to be. I'll post a link down in the description. Um, there's a burp coming. There's, there's just a burp coming. I can't control it. <sighs> can't get it out. That's what she said. So what else? Okay, so this is something that I don't have a whole lot of background on, but I'm going to post a link down in the description to a piece that Alex Norcia did for Filter Magazine that explains this a little bit better. But do you remember 
like three weeks ago when we were talking about how there's been 6 million applications, 6 million PMTA applications. Does anybody remember that? 6 million PMTA applications. It was crazy. Well, FDA today has issued a refuse to file letter. Refuse to file letter. Whoops. Hang on. Why the fuck? Oh, that's my homepage. Yeah, refused to file letter to JD Nova Group LLC notifying the company that their PMTAs for approximately 4.5 million of their products does not meet the filing requirements for a new tobacco product seeking a marketing order. 4.5 million of those 6 million PMTAs were from literally one company. And I remember hearing rumblings of things like this. And, you know, there, Amanda Wheeler, she does this group with uh, getting companies through PMTA. And I remember there was like whispers of like, is this like, is this a good idea for this company to be submitting four and a half million PMTA applications? It says JD Nova was in issued the RTF letter, that's refusal to file letter because it's applications, and this is essentially a technicality. It's applications for these products lacked an adequate environmental assessment. They left out an environmental assessment on 4.5 million PMTA applications. It's like my hot take on this is it looks like uh, Nova Group was just using the shotgun technique and just more PMTAs. More. Some of these have to get through, right? Some of these have to get through. We'll just keep more PMTAs, more PMTAs, more PMTAs, more PMTAs. Just whatever sticks, whatever will stick. A few products will stick, right? 4.5 million off the market. Now that still leaves well over 2 million products that FDA has to approve in the next hmm, 28 days, 28, 29 days, something like that. We have essentially one month until FDA is going to have to start approving some of these pre-market tobacco applications. By the end of this year, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for FDA to tweet out something about how Juul is appropriate for the protection of public health. That day is coming. <laughs> oh, that day is coming, FDA Nova Group. So. I don't know what I don't know what one company has four and a half million. I mean, maybe liquid variations, different nicotine strengths, different flavor. I don't know. I don't know how you could get four and a half million PMTA applications from one company. A lot of wasted money. That feels like so much wasted money. So much wasted money. PMTAs are going to take forever. Vape legislation is going to take forever. I mean, even when you look at like, just look at the auto industry, go back and look at the auto industry when seat belts were first a thing. The auto industry fought tooth and nail successfully for decades to keep seat belts out of cars, keep seat belts out of cars, lobbied successfully for years to keep seat belts out of cars. They were telling consumers, this, this restricts your freedom. This is a freedom issue. You should have the right to drive without a seatbelt. If you get in an accident, they're going to have to cut that seatbelt off of you, and it will waste precious time of you getting to the hospital if you're in a collision. And they lobbied successfully to keep seatbelts out of cars until finally it was like, look, harm reduction, enough is enough. Seatbelts are mandatory. Traffic fatalities, <whistles> just because of seatbelts. Seatbelts have saved billions of lives. It's just a matter of time. It's just going to take a really long time. It's just going to take a really long time. But it's okay because data's here. All right, one last thing I guess I wanted to talk about here is besides Spain suing the government, how great is this? Shout out to all the vapors in Spain. But it says last November, I'm reading now from uh, vapingpost.com, last November, Spain's health ministry launched an anti-vaping campaign, which ignores all scientific evidence in favor of smoking for or vaping for smoking cessation and or tobacco harm reduction. Moreover, the campaign makes a number of false claims talking about uh, blaming Evoli, blaming vaping on uh, blaming Evoli on vaping. Uh, the Spanish government has said that the Spanish Ministry of Health has said that 
Vaping is carcinogenic? You just make stuff up now. You just make stuff up now. It's carcinogenic. It's carcinogenic. So the local advocacy organization, the Union of Vaping Promoters and Entrepreneurs in Spain, UPEV, 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 are basically just suing the government, saying, stop lying. <laughs> it's basically the petition that we're trying to do with the World Health Organization. It says that they identify vaping and smoking as misleading, putting both activities on the same level and attributing the same level of harm to them. The association is therefore demanding that the campaign be terminated immediately and presented the court with technical and scientific data indicating the benefits of smake, vaping as a smoking cessation tool. So this group in, the, in Spain just was like, no, we're, we're just going to sue the government. We're just going to sue the government for lying about vaping. Good Lord. Could you imagine if Americans had balls like that? <laughs> Let's sue the government. Sue the government. I would love to sue the government over vaping. I don't know. I don't know why this hasn't happened in the past. I don't know why this hasn't happened already. It seems crazy to me that that we've had. I mean, look, there's been lawsuits, right? There's been a few lawsuits. There's been the right to vape lawsuit. There's been a few lawsuits. In fact, there's still one still going on. Let's start another one. I don't care. Let's sue the FDA. I can't. Yeah, let's sue the FDA. That's the that's the solution. That's the solution. My only my only gripe with the FDA is that vapor products like Greg oh god. Oh god, all oh crap. Like Greg Connolly says, vapor products should be available right on the store shelves next to every combustible tobacco product. Just period. That's how it that's how it is. There's no reason why smoking and cigarettes can be a consumer product, but vaping has to be a by prescription only pharmaceutical product. That's insane to me. That's insane to me. I would sue. Let's sue the federal government. Okay. Last thing I wanted to mention here in the news and advocacy, you guys, this is my favorite thing. This is my favorite thing of the year. Favorite thing of the year. So one of my favorite people on earth now, Mark Gunter, oh, Mark Gunter. What a great guy. Mark Gunter wrote an incredible piece about Mike Bloomberg, really critical of Mike Bloomberg and his philanthropy money. Is it doing more harm than good? Is spending $160 million of philanthropy money to ban vapor products a good idea or a bad idea? He wrote a really hypercritical piece for Philanthropy Magazine about Mike Bloomberg, and I just ate it up with a spoon. I just love, I just, God, I wanted to make love to this article. It was amazing. It was the greatest thing I'd ever written, written, read. I didn't write it. <laughs> Mark Gunter, I did not write. <laughs> greatest thing I ever read. Greatest thing I ever read until Mark Gunter did a follow-up piece on Stanton Glantz. Where is old Glancy? Mark Gunter, did a follow-up piece on Stanton Glantz. And I'm going to post uh, a link in the description to the Mother Jones version of it, but it was also on uh, Undark, which is another uh, you know online science publication. But uh, he was very, very critical of Stanton Glantz. Very interesting article. This is my new favorite thing that I've ever read. My new favorite thing that, that, that I've ever read ever. So he wrote this piece for Mother Jones. So hang on, before we get to that, let, let, I'm going to read you just this little, this little thing right here. This little thing right here. Little thing right here. This was eye-opening for me. I did not know all of this about Stanton Glantz. Didn't. You ready for this? Ready for what I didn't know about Stanton Glantz? Activism aside, oh, here, hang on. I think I have a little blurb of it. Yeah, it says right here. Activism aside, Glantz has an unusual pedigree for a tobacco scientist. Most are physicians, epidemiologists, economists, lawyers, or psychologists. Glantz has a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. That's it. He's not an epidemiologist. He's not a doctor. He's not an epidemiologist. He's not a physician. He has a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. He worked briefly at NASA and a master's and doctorate applied in, uh, I can't read that, 
Glance, get the fuck out of the way. Applied mechanics from Stanford University. His PhD thesis was a study of cardiovascular function, was titled A Mathematical Approach to Cardiac Muscle Physiology. Bachelor's in Aerospace Engineering. Stanton Glance. Bachelor's in Aerospace Engineering. And so Mark Gunter wrote this great piece about Stanton Glance. And then on his own blog, on Mark Gunter's own blog, he wrote another piece about Stanton Glance called The Tainted Science of Stanton Glance. And this is basically like he said, well, I wrote this piece for Undark, and they're a little bit more conservative than I would have been. So they wanted to just reel it in and be a little bit more conservative. But me, I wanted to talk some more shit on Stanton Glance. So I'm writing here in my own blog, furthermore, about Stanton Glance. It's unbelievable. It's the greatest thing I've ever read. This is the greatest thing I've ever read. These are two of the greatest things I have ever read. Talking about his sloppy science, his sloppy methodology, his, you know, people have said he's become like Big Tobacco's little helper. His contemporaries, like his previous allies, like people he worked with are now turning on him and calling him Big Tobacco's little helper. I just love it. I just love it so much because I dislike Stanton Glance with such a white hot rage. It's, it's, it's almost comical how much I dislike Stanton Glance. So I'm going to post a link down in the description. Th read these. these. This tainted science of Stanton Glance is literally incredible. Literally incredible. L literally incredible. Rodrigo says, uh, we had a dermatologist here in Argentina commenting about how bad vaping is. Yeah. Listen, here's what we get in the United States. We get cosmetic surgeons on TikTok talking about how bad vaping is. I was going to do a video about this one idiot doctor who was talking about Ivali and he just had no clue, nothing. Oh yeah, Ivali, nicotine and flavors. I wanted to reach through my little phone and punch him in his head. So go away, Stanton Glance. I don't even want to look at you anymore. I'm going to put all those links and more. What's that? Down in the description below. And that's going to wrap up some news and or advocacy. Let's hydrate. Good Lord. Who are we hydrating with today? What up, Liam? I've missed you. Let's hydrate with Liam. Liam, thank you for that. You might see that it says paid, uh, paid, paid, paid sponsor or something up there. It's this. It's the coldest water bottle. I love the crap out of this water bottle. Keeps everything nice and crispy cold. And look at that palette for stickers. Be warned, though. Look at this flip top. Look at that jankiness. I had this flip top for maybe, what was that, six months, maybe? And then the, the, the rubber tip part broke off. Look, it still works. Just bums me out that the rubber tip part broke off. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I'm sorry. News and advocacy. Uh, we're still chugging along, you know, it, we're climbing up shit mountain and it's, it's a long way to go. Uh, the federal government moves at literally a snail's pace. So things move slowly. And that's the really the most frustrating part of this. <laughs> things just move too slowly, but Keep in mind that there's two things coming up, and I'm going to hammer these points home for as long as I can. COP9 is happening this November. World Health Organization's little uh, meeting, summit, FCTC, tobacco control, COP9 is happening. And PMTAs are coming up. They're coming due. FDA is going to have to approve things. They're just going to have to. They sure they got rid of the four and a half million things. That's fine. That was from a small company in Colorado. The rest of the PMTAs are from well-funded, well-researched companies that are submitting these PMTAs 
with the intention of passing, with the intention of selling their products on the market. I'm just really interested to see exactly how FDA is going to do this little optic dance with the public now turning around after years and years and years and years and years of shitting on vaping. Now they're going to have to turn around and say, actually, now that we've looked at the science, uh, vapor products are appropriate for the protection of human health. They're going to have to do it. It's going to be a cold day in hell. Hashtag burp life. All right, you guys, let's wrap this up. I have too much mail. The whole rest of this, it's just gonna, it's 541 already. Why did I spend so much long on news and advocacy? Why didn't you tell me? Aegis Max or a legend? The price difference is not much. Aegis Legend 2. Aegis Legend 2. That's what I would get. I know that's not an option, but I would get the Aegis Legend 2, Ilani. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name. Let's get into, uh, let's get into, actually, Super Chats. Oh, man, Super Chats. It's running long. <laughs> running long on the Super Chats already. Ah, uh, that's right. Let's see. We had uh, the Japanese practice of, the, oh, okay. Okay. So that's what this is. That's what this is. The Japanese practice of the quick sword draw. Oh, Eido. The Eido. All right. Sick. Richard, thank you for that. It's the wee baby Seamus. No push-ups for me today, Matt Sinister. Spent the whole day doing breaks on a 10,000-pound forklift. So plenty of lifting today. Oh, and Nick, yak bong! <laughs> yak bong, still yak bong. Haven't cleaned her up. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound fun at all. I don't want to do breaks on a 10,000-pound forklift. Did they make you do that by yourself? Earn, that's very gracious of you. I got the job! There, that that went my uh, Cali burn. Oh man, I lost the tip. Oh man. Oh. Thumbs down. One banana sticker. Cali burn A two sucks. What a crappy pod. I'm just kidding. I dropped it. I earned, I got so excited. I threw it and then the tip came off. Hmm. You can still vape it. You just have to leave it vertical. Shit. That little tip is just going to be in, in my office for years now. I'm going to, I'm going to find that in like 2030. Cool. Well, I hope it was worth it. Earn. <laughs> Just kidding. Today was my second day and I love it. Shout out to the Grim Army and go to uh, Grand Traverse Vapor for hiring me. Fuck yeah, Grand Traverse Vapor. You hired Earn. Stellar employee. Stellar employee of the month right there, you guys. Fishy, that's very gracious of you. Welcome back, Nick. The world feels a little more aligned now that we have vlog day once again. I feel the same way, Fishy. I feel good. I feel like now the world starts turning again, right? Appreciate you, Fishy. Eifer says, uh, working on your ad copy, any phrases or terms you want me to avoid? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, I suppose we should avoid obscenities, like any racial slurs, like nothing, <laughs> you know, horribly offensive or anything like that. <laughs> Appreciate that, Eifer. Kennedy says, uh, I wonder how many politicians really vape behind closed doors and are lying. You just never know, right? Nope. You just, you just never know. It's got to be some of them, right? There's got to be smoking politicians. There's got to be vaping politicians, right? There has to be. Has to be. Anyway, what I want to do is dig into this mail. But wait, there's more. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is there's going there's going to be no retro vaping tonight. There's going to be no liquid tasting tonight. This is just going to be crazy mail mail time, which I'm excited about. There's there should be a few things in here, okay? There should be a few things in here. There should be a pioneer insider for the boro. That should be in here for the billet box. And there should be my vapes eclipse RTA. I know everybody's already done their reviews. I haven't even opened mine yet. 
But we'll get there when we get there. For now, we're going to start Mango on a Fork. <gasps> oh, shit. Shit. Dalen, so very jealous of that. Stay lit, fam. Oh. I know what this is. Do you know what this is? You see this sticker right here? You see that sticker, Breeze Tones? <laughs> this is some uh, Frank and Atticusness. Oh, I'm so happy. Shake down. So, uh, yeah, Frank and Atticus and uh, our, our very own Breeze Tones. Look at that. That's the shake down. Shake down. As far as I know, this is a. Uh, peanut butter concoction small batch collaborative e-liquid shakedown peanut butter thick shake that's what it's called a peanut butter thick shake I'm so excited about this uh, Frank and Atticus can kind of do no wrong peanut butter thick shake collaboration between Frank and Atticus and Breeze Tones Delicate peanut aromatics paired with complex layered creams. Balance is achieved to the perfect level of semi-sweetness. This peanut butter shake finishes strong and lingering. Dang. That sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Peanut butter vapes. Anybody vape peanut butter vapes? Let me see a show of hands in the chat. Do you guys vape peanut butter vapes? I've been on PB party, but really only in a mouth to lung situation. Oh, and I got stickers too. Uh, I was trying to find a place. Nah, probably not. Probably not going to go this time. All right. This is from. Nope. No idea. It says Korean Air on it, so it could be Korea. It's fire. Pam says it's fire. Do you? If do you like it, Pam? Oh, shit. Focus. Pioneer Insider. Pioneer. 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 No, Lee. Joe does. Derek does. Peanut butter grape. Yeah, peanut butter grape. Peanut butter yum. A good PB&J vape is great. I agree with that, Nick Devine. Hey, hope you're doing good, bud. Congrats on those live streams, man. I've been watching them. Sorry, I had to open the Pioneer Insider. Yay. Yay. It's actually like, I don't know if you can see that. It looks a little bit elevated. It doesn't look like a traditional Boro that sits on the bottom. It looks a little bit elevated up there. Getting some strong, obviously like uh, vape snail vibes from this. Yep, scoop your coils in. Wow, that's just a stainless steel block. All right. Fuck yeah, Pioneer Insider. You know, you know me, the Pioneer. It's one of my banging like favorite mouth to lung RTAs. I don't have one going right now, but uh, it's a banger, and I'm really excited about that. I don't even know which billet box I'm going to put that in. So I'm going to try to break down my boxes, you know, as I go. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But wait. Oh, Toonie. 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 Bruh. What'd you send me, bro? You don't have to send me things. Toonie, you never have to send me anything ever again for the rest of my life. You've been so gracious to me. I don't know why I always say his name like that. Ta -da. Ta -da. Fuck yeah, DIY. Tribal Buddha. Oh. Oh, wait. That's right. I'm sending this to Tribal Buddha. Am I sending this to Tribal Buddha or is this Tribal Buddha's recipe? I'm so confused right now, but this is blackberry apricot sangria. Blackberry apricot sangria. Blackberry apricot sangria. 
Blackberry apricot sounds sangria. That sounds deliciousness 9000. That sounds five times delicious. What's going on, Jonathan Cook? Appreciate you being here, bro. Appreciate you being here. Tyler B. Is there a is is Tyler B in the house? Tyler B. Tyler B. Tuna. That sounds like tuna. 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 Oh. Disregard the con. <laughs> Read on the vlog or don't disregard the constable. Ah, yo yo and salutations. So the wee baby and I heard you were running low on rich kids of Instagram and that when it's gone, you won't be getting any more. Well, that's just simply unacceptable. So we teamed up and made shit happen. Honestly, we both agree, as I'm sure most of your viewers are, that you <laughs> deserve to be able to vape one of your favorite liquids. It's the least we can do in return for the joy and laughter you bring into our lives. I wasn't prepared for this field trip, you fuckers. Joy. <laughs> so thank you for everything you do keep your head up and keep on vaping oh yeah fuck bloomberg best wishes and warmest regards tyler b and we baby seamus what the crap did you guys seriously get me rich kids of instagram <laughs> holy crap thank you you guys don't you don't know how much this means to me. You don't know how much I love this liquid. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. Like, Seamus. Seamus. I'll give, I would hug you if I could. Tyler B. and Seamus. All right. Well, all right. Well, now we're not even. So I now I'm going to send you guys something. So that's just how this works. <laughs> Sorry. Holy crap. I'm so excited. Oh. <sighs> Now I'm going to have to ration these, aren't I? Maybe a little bit. I mean, you, you party a little bit when, it, when, when a bottle arrives, right? You just go crazy and drip for a little bit, and then you're like, okay, wait, I need to... Meh. Dude, Tyler B., Seamus, you guys are too much. Thank you. Like, seriously, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And there's more. There's more packages. I do not... Tanner Fry? See, this is going to be something cool, Tanner. So shout out to Tanner Fry, yo yo Tanner Fry. Tanner Fry got me that uh, linked billet box bridge. Oh, maybe I don't know how to open this. I don't deserve the gifts that you that you give me, you guys. <laughs> I really don't. Knowing that you quit smoking is, is gift enough to me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. All right. I don't, I don't know. Ah. Okay, this is just a box. I think it was just in there for, you know, packing purposes. What? Tyler B. Stop being great. <laughs> Actually, don't stop being great. Whoa, what's the Mob Mini? Whoa, what up, Mob Mini? This is a Boro Bridge. All right, fuck yeah, Mob Mini. Tyler B., why are you so nice to me? <laughs> why are you so nice to me? Uh, the Mob Mini. This is a Boro Bridge. Look at that. That's sick. I think I saw uh, Bogan do some Mob Mini stuff. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And that's not even like, he, there's more things in here. Oh, no. The pie? The pie? Now, this RDA... Ready? There's a light in the inside of the case, so when you open it, it shines a light down on your little RDA. This was a hypey RDA. 
Hypey RDA. I actually never got to try this RDA ever, but it was one of those, uh, you know, they were the first company that did a postless deck. And so they're like, we invented this and we're going to get mad and throw around like frivolous lawsuits at people who use our, our postless deck design. Bunch of fucking children back then. Okay, I can't screw this back on. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I know it's reverse threaded. I just can't find the threads. Okay, there it is. Yeah, flat, just a postless deck. That's it. Just a postless deck. Whipped people into a tizzy. What? Did you buy me clay? Dane B. What? You bought me clay? <gasps> this is all I want to play with right now. Do you, is this because of the clay story? Is this because of the clay story from elementary school? <laughs> is this because of the clay story from the elementary school? Okay, no. This is a... Uh, Oh, this is for hair. This is like a pomade. I don't want fop, goddammit. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Tanner Fry, thank you for being awesome. Thank you for being awesome to me. Anna, Bill Anna Boro Tank. <sighs> thank you, Tanner Fry. Thank you, Tanner Fry. The spotlight would have made a m much more sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> but the pie squared. Holy crap. We're going to have to we're definitely going to have to do this for a retro vaping maybe next week. I never got to use the pie squared. This seems like it's brand new. Is this brand new, Tanner? After your last sick ass haircut, I figured I'd share my favorite. Oh, thank you Tanner Fry. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's hard for me as a as a balding man to 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 use like palmade and things like that because um, I don't have a lot to work with. But I'll give it a go, Tanner Fry. All I can tell from your picture on YouTube, Tanner Fry, it looks like you have majestic, glorious hair. Just majestic thick hair. <sighs> That's what I want. I want majestic thick hair. Apple watermelon ice liquid. Tanner Fry. Tanner Fry. Thank you, Tanner Fry. There is more. There, there is more. Go, that's right. Okay. This came from uh, Royal Mail. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. Duct taped complete, like completely duct taped. Just kidding. It's not duct tape. Uh, okay, maybe it might be duct tape. Ha! Yeah! Go on now. Go! All right. <laughs> Knives. <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Opium resin art. Opium resin art for the win. Hey, Nick, I hope you like your new uh, uh, panels and buttons. Thank you for all your help and advocacy, everything else you do for the community. All the best. Flip. Ha Opium resin art. P.S. All of my work has made... I can't read your handwriting imperfections. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. See buttons and okay you have bad handwriting but that's okay because i still love you opium resin art check out opium resin art at opium resin art on instagram because he's the one <laughs> he's the one What the fuck? That's cool. All right. That's cool as hell. 
Watch this. Watch. Doesn't quite fit. Damn. Why don't you fit? White, red blood spattery doors for your clutch. Hi. That's rad. And it comes with, hi, a freaking matching button on there so you can be super matchy matchy. Hat opium resin art. Look at these. Look at these green panels. I have a green clutch. We're definitely going to put green panels on a green clutch. Look at those doors. That's cool as hell. That's cool as hell. And it comes with a matching button. And he threw in a whole mess of other buttons. There's a Lego head guy. There's a there's a Darth Maul. What else is in here? That's cool as fuck. Why can't I open this? There's like a skull or something. Opium resin art. Mango on a fork. Yeah, there's like a little oceany one. I can't. I wish I could show you. But it's little clutch buttons, so they're really impossible. I'll take a few pictures and post them on the IG. Post them on the Instas. Clutch buttons, clutch panels. Shout out to Opium Resin Art. These are rad. These are rad. Rad. And he's a tattooer. He is a uh, Flip Pasquia tattooist. Flip Pasquia. That's his art right there. Look at that slug skull. That's cool as hell. Thank you. Flip, thank you. Awesomeness. That's cool. I think that's cool. I think that's sick as tits. We haven't had blood spatter stuff in the vape scene for quite a while, so it's nice to see it coming back. Addy Toonie. Toonie. Oh, I think these panels are getting in the way of this firing. Nope, I have it locked. That would make sense. There we go. Okay, panel's on. It vapes better with the panels on. Mango on a fork. <laughs> I can't stop saying that. All right, panels. All right, opium resin art. Awesome. Like, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cool. That's cool, man. Courtney? Is Courtney in the house? Addy Tooney! Addy! Thank you for the package, Addy Tooney. I literally just opened it up. Courtney Ives? Whoa! Shit! I know who this is from. I know who this is from. This is kind of incredible. How did you do this? How did you make it so it looks like he moves? How did you do this? Does that look like Baby Yoda's moving? Sorry, Grogu. This is an Addy stand from Lummy Vapes. Lummy Streams? Lummy? Lumi? Lummy Lumi? It's one of those. Lummy Lumi? Thank you. I don't know how you made it look like he moves. He, it looks like he's moving in there. Like it looks like his head's moving like this. Does, am I the only one seeing that? But he's not, he's not moving, but it's an optical illusion. Optical illusion. Cool. Kick-ass Addy stand. That's like a desk Addy stand. That's like, if I need something, <laughs> if I want to look at an atomizer on my desk, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what I would use. Fuck yeah, baby Yoda. What a great day. You guys, There are, we seriously have a lot of packages. I appreciate you guys.
I appreciate you guys. I'm having fun. I miss fun. I miss fun. <gasps> Wait, who's this from? Chris. Lethal. Is this you? Cat, is this you? Who's this? I don't recognize this name. It's it's Chris. It's Lethal Coils or it's Fishy. It's Lethal Coils or it's Fishy. Guitar strings for my guitar. Oh no, shut up. Oh, we talked about this. What? What? Badass. I love an overdrive pedal. Badass. Badass. Chris, is this from you? Did you, did you, Chris? I, you may be the culprit, Chris. <laughs> Dude. That's fucking cool as hell. Thank you. But I know that that's not all. I know that's not all. Chris, I know that's not all. Holy crap, an overdrive pedal. I used to use a boss bass overdrive pedal on my bass guitar all the time. Is it, uh, sorry, I messed with your settings. Is this how you liked it? Gain up, high up, low. Fucking overdrive pedal. Badass. Badass. Thank you. Is there a bogan here? Bogan. I heard there's a bogan here. Bogan here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, are we doing the build stream next week? Let's talk, bogan. I think I have another live stream on Tuesday. I think I have another live stream on Tuesday. We might have to push it. Might have to push it a week. Thank you, Chris. Mr. Lethal Coils, you're a stand-up fucking dude. I will definitely enjoy this. Definitely. Dolphinately. In fact, while we're here, do you know what this is? Lethal Coils, Chris. What can I say? The man knows me. This. <gasps> Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. I'm a big fan. You know, I'm a big fan of sleep. And this is another sleep release. Another uh, quarantine sleep release. Leagues beneath. Uh, the bat. Okay, this is kind of too cool. Like, we need to look at this, like, right now. We might need to look at this, like, right now. Because the back of this record looks etched as fuck. And I love a good etched record. If we have time to do a Getting to Know Grim Green. What's that on the back? Yeah. Badass. That looks like, is that a continuation of the one I have on that other record, on that other sleep record? I see a tentacle. I thought I saw like space boots. Badass. Badass. Chris, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm a huge sleep fan. The band and the activity. Look, Chris, thank you, bro. Thank you. I hope you've been listening to sleep, Chris. I hope you have been listening to sleep. Um, would anybody mind if I take a quick bio break before we knock out these last three packages? Would that be cool? Just going to go pee real quick. I'm going to break the seal. It's going to ruin my life. So here you go. I'll be right back, you guys. Talk amongst yourselves, and uh, if you have any coil building questions, ask Nick Divine eighty three in chat.
in it. it. Moving along, moving right along. Moving right along. Now, this is an Amazon package. So, I'm assuming this is a gift. And I don't mean to sound disappointed. I just, like, I'm... What? Who could... What? Okay. There's no... The only way to know is to just dig in, you know? <gasps> what? Who is this from? Who did this? Who did this? There's no note. Who did this? Someone did this. Who is it? Who did this? I want names because this is awesome. Who did Who did this? There's no note. But it's tiki mugs, dude. It's freaking geeky tiki's. Holy shit. Uh, Lando Calrissian Star Wars Tiki Mug. Get out of here. That's the coolest fucking thing I've ever... Lando Calrissian? My, the only other options were Kylo Ren, Sith Trooper, Chewbacca, BB-8. I, I love that I have a Lando. I, I love having a Lando Tiki Mug. Holy crap, that's awesome. Holy crap, that's awesome. But wait, who was I talking to? I have the vaguest memory of this. Yeah, dude. It's Betelgeist. <laughs> Do you have a Betelgeist geeky tiki tiki mug? Mm, I don't think you do. I do. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Who did this? I want to know too. I want to know too. I'm trying to turn my volume up a little bit better, a little bit more. Is that better? So this microphone stand kind of sucks butts. Who did this? I'm, I'm not, I'm, we're not going any farther in the vlog until who tells me who bought these. Thank you to whoever bought these for me. I think I have an idea of who it was. Level five Loki for the win. I had a feeling it was level five Loki. Yeah, I'd love, thank you. Level five Loki. Level five Loki. Spectacular. Well done. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. I, I, I cherish these. I cherish these. Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice? Just kidding. You're going back here for now. That's rad as hell. That's rad as hell. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Whoa, careful. <laughs> One of these days, you guys, you're gonna, I'm gonna stab myself in the chest on accident. L right on a live stream too. Like, oh, well, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, I'm being rushed to the emergency room. I know what this is. So. There's a there's a dude on Instagram that I started following that uh, he's a funny dude. He's a vapor dude in Florida. What is his name? Sh yeah, there he is. D Does anybody else follow this dude? I'm going to try to turn down my brightness so you guys can see him. Does anybody else follow this guy? Sh Shariksha de God. Shariksha to God. Uh, he's a funny dude. He kind of reminds me of like, uh, I don't know, like a Rip Trippers type of, or just really energetic or really upbeat, cranking out content, 
Uh, he seems really like into it, really down for the cause, you know, vape shop in Florida. He has a CBD company. This is his CBD. This is his CBD. Swifty Hemp Co. Warning. Dear Postmaster and Law Enforcement, this package contains industrial hemp products grown in accordance with... There you go. Swifty Hemp Co. And of course, all oh, my favorite... Look at all of these delicious pink packing peanuts. Why packing peanuts? Why? Do they not have bubble wrap in Florida? Tallahassee, Florida? Is it banned there? Did DeSantis mandate Packing peanuts. <laughs> All right, we got some uh, ooh Swifty brownies. Oh, really? Interesting. You know what these are? These are D eight. These are Delta eight brownies. Uh, interesting. Trying to get everything out of here without a pink explosion of packing peanuts. It appears there's a shirt down here. Well, just trying to get it out. Yeah, we got a uh, Swifty Hemco Delta 8. This guy's a good guy. This guy's a good guy and he's got a he's got a hemp company. He does Delta 8 stuff. What else is in here? It's like a you never know what you're going to what else? Anything else? Anybody Delta 8s out there? Oh, wait, there's one more. Okay. One last dive in. Let's see. Okay. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Oh, packing peanuts everywhere. You know what my favorite thing about packing peanuts is? Nothing. They're terrible. They're the worst. They are from Lucifer. They are from the devil. Shout out to Swifty Hemp Co. I got some sick Delta 8 carts, bro. We just want to have some Delta 8 carts like right now. Just do the rest of the vlog after we eat a Delta 8, 100 milligram Delta 8 Swifty infused brownie. Brownies. This is a Rice Krispie treat, it feels like. 250 milligrams of Delta 8 per treat. All right. All right, Swifty. It's cool. I mean, truly and honestly, I like that branding. It's a pretty slick branding. I don't know about the Swiftiness. Like, I like Rick and Morty too. I like Rick and Morty too. And I don't think that Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland are all about like, letting you use Swifty for your hemp co, but who am I, look, who am I to tell you otherwise? Let's put some Delta 8 back here. Should I wear the shirt? Should I wear the shirt? Swifty hemp co, last package. So help me God if there is packing peanuts in here. I like Delta 8, kind of. I don't love Delta 8, but I also don't hate Delta 8. I like Delta 8 because it's like weed light and you can get ah, a little bit uh, a little bit elevated. And that's it. You just get a little bit elevated. Ah, oh, yes. What's up peeps? My vapes here. Clips RTA. Oh, and there's, listen, so I have one for review and then yo, 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 yo. I got a bunch of eclipses to give away. Well, I'm not going to not open the eclipse. I have been waiting for this. Serenity now. Okay. 
Is this package really that hard to open? Do I have to cut this off? Apparently. I just want to see it. I want to touch it. I want to hold it. What up, peeps? My vape's here. Is this supposed to be mouth to lung? Nope. Why did I think this was supposed to be mouth to lung? It's really good. Bogan's vouching for the eclipse, bro. Mine just appeared. What is that, a single coil banger? Postless single coil. Shockingly smooth airflow. Why did I think this was mouth to lung? Why? I have no reason to believe that. I have no reason to believe that. Why did I think this was mouth to lung? All right. Quick quarter turn cap. Feels nice. Airflow feels nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, Eclipse. Okay, my vapes. Stoked. Oh, I'm so happy that this is here. I'm so happy that this is here. I have, you know, just doing what I do and being who who I am and who the fuck am I? It doesn't matter. I get I get serious FOMO. I I still to this day get very serious FOMO. When I was sitting here yesterday thinking, I wonder if that I wonder if the Eclipse RTA is in my vape mail. I don't know. I was wondering. I thought, is it in here? And then I got on YouTube and it's like, Jay Hayes has his review. Do you have this review? There's another review of the Eclipse. And I'm like, I haven't even opened the package to get my Eclipse out yet. And there's already a review on YouTube. So that means my review is going to be about a month from now. <laughs> Maybe three, three weeks from now. Maybe longer. It's so whatever. Grim Green, late to the party. That's it. Mail, call, done. What a great mail, though. What a great mail. Shout out to Swifty, Hempco. Shout out to Frank and Atticus, Frank and Tones. Shout out to Tanner Fry. Shout out to BP Mods. Shout out to Wee Baby Seamus and Tyler B for the coil spill. And those Tiki mugs, level five Loki, level five Loki, the Tiki mugs, <sighs> the Tiki mugs and my vapes coming through. I like that. I appreciate that. Dang. Just looks like a mess in here. Can't forget the overdrive pedal. I can't forget my sleep record. This has been a really great vape mail. This has been a really great vape mail. What was that, Jason? FYI, when you build the Eclipse, the AFC comes off. Oh, it's good to know. Good to know. Very good to know. Appreciate that. Put a two and a half millimeter ID coil in it. Two and a half. Why can't I do three? I want to do three millimeters. You won't let me? What do you mean you won't let me? Would you? Okay, we have two choices right now because technically the vlog's over. So... Do you want to do a very random liquid tasting? Because I kind of want to do a very random liquid tasting. I want to do a very random liquid tasting in lieu of some some uh, retro vapes. Because I also want to talk about a record. So let's do that. That's how we're going to wrap this vlog up. Let's do a very... Actually, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to forget about Super Chats. Just didn't cross my mind right there. Uh, Kennedy, that's right. Eifer, what about phrases you do want me to use? Uh, use, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Artist choice. Artist choice, Eifer. Artist choice. Derek uh, in with the super chat says, wow, the mob mini is elite. My current favorite bridge. Is it really, Derek? If you're telling me that this is your favorite bridge, that inclines me. Like I want to put it in something tonight. I'll do it tonight. Don't, I'll put it in there. <laughs> it's got to be a better way to say that. I'll try it out tonight, Derek. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. We baby Seamus. Great liquid was meant to be vaped. Damn right. Vape away, my friend. Tyler B is at work and his replay crew this week, but he sends his love and oh yeah. Yak bong. Yak bong, baby Seamus. Yak bong. <laughs>
<laughs> appreciate you, bro. Tribal Buddha, uh, I make that sangria during the summer and Addy decided to turn it into a liquid. I had no idea he was doing it, but I hope it's awesome. All right, then I'm sending you, Mr. Tribal Buddha, two bottles of this because there's one bag that's marked Tribal Buddha. It's for you. It's for you, man. I'll get that to you. Sangria. Lethal coils. Big love, my friend. I knew you would like them when you, yep. When you, sh when you showed the one Casey got for you, I have a copy of that one too. And yeah, I've been listening. Good. How good is sleep? How good is sleep? So good. So good. All right, you guys, let's, uh, I'm really interested to taste some liquid. So I think that's what we're going to do literally right now. Everybody circle pit. That was just the right volume. All right, so I'm gonna make a poll. You know, I'm gonna make a poll like I do. Liquid tasting, and now you guys are gonna actually officially vote on a poll. And I'm gonna I'm gonna type this up here real quick. Whoops. <laughs> We got uh, one returning. We got uh, some new ones here. Berry cheese. Whoops. Add more options. Oh, can I only do three? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I can't do a fourth one. All right, here we go. This is going to be great. Okay, so I'm going to put this poll in the chat right now. And so you guys are going to have to vote. No more, you know, spamming the buttons. Just vote on the ch vote for the liquid that you would like to see me taste. And th there's four options tonight. It's coming back. It's going to be here for a bit. This is the glass blue Raz. Everybody tells me it tastes like chemicals, so we'll see how that goes. I have an Addy Tooney e-liquid. This is bourbon, peach, apricot. Addy Tooney e-liquid. This is Bayoni from uh, Indonesia. This is lemon ice grapefruit. Lemon ice grapefruit. And then... The last one, I got a Shy Tots. I wanted to give Shy Tots another try. So we got a Shy Tots raspberry cheesecake. Okay. I'm gonna hold I'm gonna continue holding these up as an example. And then I'm gonna post the the, the poll right now. Vote. Feel free feel free to vote. Vote vote on whatever you think that I should taste. Honestly, any of these I think would be fascinating. Glass Blue Raz is off to a strong start with uh, Tooney coming in second place there. Vote up. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. In the meantime, let's have a vape break. Vote. Tooney's Bourbon Peach. Ah, took the lead hard. Glass Brew Raz got off to a real strong start, but I think Toonie's Bourbon Peach might take it. Let's give this a, another 30 seconds or so. Some low five beats. Toonie's going to win. Toonie's going to win every single time. Toonie. It's 
Tune in. Tune in. All right, I'm gonna end this poll and we're gonna vape some Toonie. Toonie liquid. I had a feeling. I just had a feeling Toonie would win. You got a brand new bottle of Sifu's bourbon peach. What a combo. It's awesome. All right, I'm ending the poll. The poll is over. We are here to taste some Toonie liquid now. I might just leave those lo-fi beats on if they're not bothering anybody. Because they're not bothering me. All right. I like that when Toonie ships me liquid, he always tapes up the top of the bottle. Never had a leak. Never had a mess. Never had a nothing. Thank you, Toonie. We're going to be tasting this today on my guar box from Def Mods. That's D-E-F Mods. They're just a big lipo pack on the inside. Valhalla uh, 30 millimeter. Valhalla 25 millimeter. I think this is the Valhalla 25 on top. So, Addy Tooney, you got a lot to live up to here. Oh, bourbon peach. Bourbon peach. Here we go. Bourbon peach. You know, when Dwayne was here not that long ago when we were working on the baked stuff, um, there was a tobacco I did. I did a peach apricot tobacco that I really, really liked. Really, really liked. The problem with apricot is it's not, it's not for everybody. It's a real tangy flavor, apricot is. So if you're not an apricot fan or like a peach apricot fan, it's going to be hard to win you over to apricot land. All right. Oh, I forgot to charge this, damn it. All right. No crackles. That's okay. It needs more wattage. That's the problem. And I don't have enough battery in this lipo. All right. We're switching it. We're switching it to the other def box. Switching it to the Satan Def Box instead of the, uh, the Guar Box because that's not charged. It's okay. It's fine. All right. I know you're going to ask me for this, and then I'm going to say yes, and then I'm going to turn you up to like 80 watts. Really? Okay, having a hard time firing at 80 watts? One more knuckle. All right, I'm gonna take a take a pull here. Uh, okay, that's kind of rad. I'm just gonna sit back with this for a second, and then I'll come back and talk about it. I can't just have the lo-fi beats going right now because it wouldn't feel like a vlog. So let's just crank this up. I'll do some tasting. I'm gonna go pee real quick. is a crazy e-liquid. I don't even know how to describe this. I don't know how to describe this. Bourbon, yes. It's got a bourbon, it's got a real bourbon flavor. It's got a real, it's not. 
Sometimes when you taste liquids, you can taste all the components separately. Sometimes when you taste liquid, you can taste all the components together, and it's a very cohesive flavor in that I can kind of pick out the bourbon, I can kind of pick out the apricot, but for the most part, these flavors have kind of just melted together into this sort of, it tastes like a, like a cocktail of some sort. Like if you went to a, a bar and ordered a, a, like a, 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 an old-fashioned, but instead of using regular bourbon, you, you requested a peach bourbon old-fashioned. That's what this tastes like. Sweet peach bourbon apricot. The apricot adds like a real acidic kind of bitey. I don't know another way to describe it. Bitey bitey kind of sensation but the bourbon just has this big mouth feel to it real smooth real real creamy apricot and bourbon and peach kind of all coalescing together into like one distinct flavor it's the same on the inhale as it is on the exhale sweet creamy bourbon peaches and apricots dang Old fashioned and smash. It's kind of what it is like. Yes, I would. Say, yeah, I would say that's accurate. If it was minus, like, don't you normally put uh, berries, like blackberries, in a in a whiskey smash? I have a feeling it would kind of be like that. Minus the berries, minus the berries. But yeah, very very similar to that. Dude, this is really good, Addy Tooney. This is really good. I don't want to say the T word. I don't want to say the tobacco word because I know it puts people off, but this kind of vapes a little bit like a tobacco. That apricot flavor is baller, though. That tangy, tangy apricot just knocking me down. No, Sally S., I'm definitely not. I just tasted I was a professional taster for about six years. Addy Tooney, this is delightful beyond words. I really, really like this. Uh, if you if you want to post this recipe somewhere, I can try to get this into the description of this video for anybody interested if you wanted to mix up your own sort of uh, bourbon tobacco. I don't know if this is an Addy Tooney recipe. I don't know if this is a tribal Buddha recipe. Good, good. Good, 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 good. I don't know why I'm showing you the bottle. There's no label on it. It just says uh, bourbon cream with apricot and peach or with peach and apricot. It kind of gives me a, a tobacco flavor. That's the best way that I can kind of, it gives me a tobacco feel. It kind of reminds me vaping it like trigeminally. It feels like a tobacco. It reminds me of the Jake Scrapwood. Honestly, Jake, it reminds me of the honey bourbon tobacco that you do. That's what it reminds me of. Damn, what a good liquid. I'm just going to have one more pull here because I just really, really like it. If you're here now and you've never had the chance to hit a like button on a Grim Green stream, take that opportunity to go ahead and hit that like button right now. Really would appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube. Dig this. Dig that a lot, bro. A lot, lot, lot. Lot, lot. Let's uh, do some quick hydrating with Kent real quick. Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Hydro homies. Kent uh, will be joining me again this Monday uh, for the build stream. I'm, if I'm being a hundred percent honest, I don't know exactly what what we're doing with. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with the build stream. It started off as like a build stream, you know, more like an install stream, right? Like Bogan does, or like me and Bogan do together. It was just like fun, chilling, looking at new gear, installing some coils, vaping them. And then I got in my head that I actually wanted to build. And so then we started doing like Fuse Clapton's, Aliens, Triple Core Aliens. 
So I think staggered fused Claptons. I think this coming Monday, we're doing framed staples. Framed staples is happening this Monday on my YouTube. And I honestly don't know where we can go from that. I don't know if Monday is going to continue building. I don't know if Monday is going to kind of go back to a little bit more of like a hangout chill. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. I started the Monday build stream during quarantine because people were at home. So I'm like, let's do more streams. Let's do, I was doing Monday build streams, Tuesday, bro, Tuesdays, wildcard Wednesdays and vlogs like every week at the beginning of quarantine. And so wildcard Wednesday kind of went away. And I don't know if the Monday build stream is going to stick around very long. I don't know if the Monday build stream is going to stick around very long. I'm having a lot of fun with it, but it's taking up a lot of time that I need to focus on other things like edited content. I'm backed up. I'm backed up with edited content because I've been spending all my time with streaming. Anyway, it doesn't much matter. It's just me trying to figure out like what the hell we're going to do with this YouTube. <laughs> That's ultimately what this comes down to. What the hell are we going to do with this YouTube? Um, I don't know if I saw any more super chats come in. I did see a few more people like this video, but I don't know if enough people have liked it yet. Okay, that's right. Tribal Buddha makes the sangria. Derek says, uh, Jubbies 2024, back to normal. Feels so good. Doesn't it feel so good, Derek? I like being back to normal. I like the routine. I like I liked waking up this morning thinking about, oh, fucking vlog day. Today's vlog day. Anyway, feels good to be back, and I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I'm here, you know. A live cooking Monday stream. Look, it can become anything. <laughs> no, we're gonna try. I mean, we're gonna keep it vape related. I'm not gonna start reviewing, you know, smart fire alarms or anything like that. We're still gonna keep this in the vape space, in the dope vape space. Let's end. Let's let's start winding this down. Let's chill for a little bit. Let's talk about some tunes. Let's, uh, woo. How's everybody doing tonight? Did you guys have a good night? I had a great night. I had a spectacular night. Truly and honestly, this has been one of the more fun nights. Like I had fun on my vacation and I love hanging out with my wife and I love hanging out with my friends and we were playing darts in the backyard and just, you know, cannabis everywhere and beer everywhere and, and darts and games and pool and fun. And it was so great. This, this right here, this is, this is real. This is actual fun. <laughs> Goofing off fun is fun, but damn it, this is fun. Damn it, this is fun. So let's wrap up this fun night. And I hope you guys had a fun night because I sure as shit did. Let's wrap up this fun night with some music talk. Let's talk about some music and tunes and the such as. I'm a music guy. The music has been part of the vlog since the very beginning. In the very first vlog I did, we talked about music. Way back in 2013, it's kind of been a staple ever since. And today we're going to talk about a record. I went on a little bit of like, uh, whatever, a retail shopping spree, just a little bit over my summer break. Um, and it's cause people would go, Hey, look, this record's for sale. And I'd go, Oh, okay. And so I just kept, <laughs> I just kept buying records. And so a record came out that I'm not going to mention the name of it yet because it's still going to be in a future vlog, but a record came out and I went and bought it. And while I was there, you know, when you go to a record store or, you know, when you go to like an online store and you just went there for one thing, but you're going to browse a little bit, right? You're not just going to go, okay, I'm here for one record. No, you're going to go, what else do they have? What? Maybe I could get some merch. Maybe I could get some other records. What else do they have here? So I just went shopping. I went shopping and I bought a very, very random, random ass record because it was the only one that they had in stock at the time. And I have a very, very sentimental a, a really incredibly sentimental attachment to this particular band, which I know it sounds weird and doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's Cannibal Corpse. Now, I'm not sure who here is hip to any sort of death metal or, if, you know, back in the day, if anybody listened to Cannibal Corpse, if you listen to Cannibal Corpse now, I'm glad that I have Cannibal Corpse in my life. I, I feel like a better person and I feel... I feel good knowing that I have Cannibal Corpse in my life. I became a Cannibal Corpse fan 
a really a long time forever ago. And the story goes like this. Me and my buddy Jim, I've talked about Jim constantly. Me and my buddy Jim, um, we've been in band, you know, we were in bands together in high school and, you know, he was, he was just my BFF. We were inseparable. And so his dad lived in Reno. And so sometimes we at age 13 and 14, by the way, would go down to Reno and just hang out with his dad, stay with his dad for a few days. And his dad was like, yeah, it's cool, dad. You know, we play guitar and we goof off and, you know, he'd take us shopping and he'd take us to arcades and we'd go to, you know, the record store, we'd go to Tower Records and go shopping. And we went into a Sam Goody music store inside of the Meadowood Mall. I believe it was the Meadowood Mall in Reno, Nevada. And we're just looking at CDs. And at that time in my life, I was, I was just getting into metal and I was just getting into really heavy metal, like really heavy death metal. And so this is, remember, this is pre-internet. <laughs> Any cool band you heard about, you heard it from someone. Someone told you, have you heard Cannibal Corpse? You didn't get to see the charts on Spotify and you didn't get to go on TikTok and be like, well, what's this song? Pre-internet. And so I was buying albums purely based on what the album cover looked like. And I was looking for death metal records. And so looking for, shout out to Jim. I'm sure, could, you know, all of these, it's like, yeah, Ray, you see Malevolent Creation, Morbid Angel. And I'm looking through all of these and I'm looking at the album covers. And I don't know any of these bands, but I know that I want a metal album. And so I come across Cannibal Corpse, Tomb of the Mutilated. That was their album. It came out in 1992. It was overtly graphic. The album cover was so graphic. The whole album got banned in Germany. Germans said, this is too gross. <laughs> this album is banned in Germany. Well, the first track off of Tomb of the Mutilated is this song, Hammer Smashed Face. My buddy Jim and I got our CDs. We got back to his dad's house. We're sitting, like he had a little recording studio. And so we're sitting in his little recording studio, listening to the CDs we just bought. And I put on Cannibal Corpse and neither Jim nor I had ever heard anything like this before. 14 and 13 at the time, respectively. We, I had never heard anything like this before. It, it blew my mind open. It was so brutally relentless and just punishing. And Chris Barnes, who's not in the band anymore, but the original vocalist, Chris Barnes, just sounds horrible, like just gravel-throated you know, I had never heard anything like this before. I had never heard someone growl before. And it just, I felt like it filled me with life. You know, I just heard death metal and Chris Barnes growling. And I was like, this is awesome. I love everything about this. I'm never not going to love cannibal corpse. I will forever and eternally love cannibal corpse. My buddy, Jim, he'll tell, he'll tell you a different version of this story. He did not like cannibal corpse. He told me, he didn't want to listen to Cannibal Corpse. He's like, I don't like Cannibal Corpse. I don't want to put Cannibal Corpse on. Let's listen to what I bought. You know, it was Galactic Cowboys or something. I don't want to listen to Cannibal Corpse. He didn't like Cannibal Corpse. To this day, I hold that over his head. You didn't like Cannibal Corpse. So really, we're putting one song because this is a single. I just bought the single because they had it in stock. This was the only Cannibal vinyl they had in stock. And I went, Oh, fucking hammer smashed face. That was the first cannibal corpse song I heard the first real death metal song I had ever heard. And it just blew my mind open to the world of death metal. And so the song that we're putting on the getting to know grim green Spotify playlist is hammer smashed face. The song appeared in Ace Ventura pet detective. He went to a cannibal corpse show because Jim Carrey's a big cannibal corpse fan. He wanted him in the movie. They're playing hammer smashed face. On stage, they're actually not playing Hammer Smashed Face, but the music that you hear is Hammer Smashed Face. The second, the post-verse riff, the bridge riff in this song is one of my favorite metal songs ever. It's just one of my favorite metal riffs ever from Hammer Smashed Face. And when I bought this record, they had uh, two options, and one of them was like clear red. It was like red and clear, and I thought, oh, that's cool as fuck. And then the other option was ox blood, ox blood. And I thought ox blood, if I'm going to buy a cannibal corpse record, it's going to be on ox blood. And so this is the color of the record, badass ox blood, cannibal corpse. And then on the back etched again, you got the same etching that's on the cover. It's the skull with the, uh, 
you know, with the candles, and then it says Hammer Smash Face all the way around it. And like, I don't know, you can't really see it. Hammer Smash Face all the way around it. This has been given this has been spinning and spinning and spinning in my office. I just loved Hammer Smash Face. Also because it's a really good song and it's got one of my favorite metal riffs, but because I'm so sentimentally attached to it, because it instantly takes me back to my friendship with Jim, it instantly takes me back to Reno, to buying the Camera Smashed Face or the Tomb of the Mutilated album. Just it, Despite the lyrical content of it, it does fill me with a lot of like really happy, you know, heartwarming sort of uh, memories, heartwarming memories from Cannibal Corpse. And Casey and I and Dwayne got to go see Cannibal Corpse in San Diego uh obituary opened and it was amazing it was un- incredible so i'm putting cannibal corpse hammer smashed face on the getting to know grim green spotify playlist and i'll just throw this out there webcams dash chat.com 18 and over video chat good glad you're here <laughs> can we delete that oh that got deleted oh, okay okay thank you guys Appreciate you guys. Appreciate those. Appreciate you guys in the chat taking care of that. So yeah, Hammer Smash Face. It's going on the Grinding Snow Grim Green Spotify playlist. And I'll and I'll forewarn you a little bit. Like Guar, their lyrics are just really horribly offensive and gross. I don't even want to list some of the song titles on Tomb of the Mutilated. You'll just have to go read it for yourself and just be offended all over again. And I warned you. I'm warning you that it's offensive shit. So don't go read it and get offensive. And you know, I come blood. Like, yeah, that's a song. It's just a song. It's just a song. Some of the lyrics on this are a little bit like phoning it in. Like there's some lyrics where he's like, I think I want to kill you. And you're like, okay, you're so scary, you know, but it's cannibal corpse, you know, and you can't not love cannibal corpse. They got, they got thrown into that Florida death metal scene in the nineties, even though they weren't from Florida. It's pretty funny. Anyway, cannibal corpse for the win. Everybody go check them out. And I'll put that song on the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. If you're into death metal, that is. If you hate Bloomberg, go ahead and hit that like button. I'm going to wrap this up. Let's see if there's any more super chats that came in. One last super chat. Level 5 Loki, my man. Beetlejuice is for Casey and Lando is for you. I tried to get you Kylo Ren, but it was sold out. Time to start your tiki bar in the backyard. Oh, my God. Dude, level 5. We have a plan. We're building a tiki bar in our backyard. It's going to be called the Cosmic Ga- or the the Tropical Galaxy. That's what we're calling it. The Tropical Galaxy. Backyard space themed tiki bar. Come on, that's cool. <laughs> Come on, that's cool. Anyway, you guys, let me uh I think we're done. Have I just been talking nonstop? Nonstop for like 3 hours now? 2 and a half hours? Let me Let me start wrapping this up. Let me take a quick look. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Get some of more of this uh, bourbon uh, apricot here. Dude, I think we're good. Packing peanuts everywhere. Yeah, we're good, you guys. What a damn fine ass vlog back. What a damn, damn fun, fine ass vlog back. Thank you again to uh, all of the, ma- you guys are ridiculous. Um, you, you, I, 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 you're too kind. You're too kind. You're too kind. Next week, I, I'm going to include retro vaping. I know we skipped it this week, but I'm going to include it next week for sure. hundred percent. We got some cool stuff coming up. We're back in action. You know, I'm back. I'm not taking another break until probably Christmas probably Christmas. And even then it's only maybe only going to be a few days. It's you and me for the rest of the year. You guys, the rest of the year talking, (laughs) talking like I'm on meth. I promise I'm not. I promise I'm not. Um, I think that's it. How do I end a vlog? I think that's it. I think I got everything. We did it all. We did it all. We did it all. Damn it. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good. I'm going to get into some uh, thick shake, some peanut butter thick shake tonight. I'm going to build that bridge because Derek told me to. I got a lot to do, but I appreciate you guys. And it feels good to be bit. It feels good to be back. Old Grim's not going anywhere. 
Old Grim's going to be here until he dies on camera on this stream. So here's what I'll say. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support over the years. Thank you for being down for the cause. Thank you for fighting the good fight. There's so much to be thankful for. Uh, we live in a crazy world and there's still a lot to be thankful for regardless of the crazy world we live in. I want to say goodbye and fuck off to ex New York governor, Andrew Cuomo. Keep those nipple rings frosty, buddy. Peace out. You piece of shit. Other than that, I want to say thank you, and I love you guys, and just remember that no matter what anybody tells you, especially Muppet Mouth assholes like Mike Bloomberg, vaping is at least 95%. Like, all of the science shows this. All of the science shows that it works better than any NRT on the market at getting smokers to quit. Defend vaping. Preach the good word. Proselytize out there like we're saving lives because we are. Peace and reason to all. I guess that's it. I'm going to say goodbye now, you guys. And uh, I miss you. And until Monday, I hope you have a great weekend. Yo, yo, cool kids. I'll meet you as soon as I can in the Zoom room. Peace and reason.